Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look. I have no clue what I'm gonna be doing yet because I have nothing. I I have nothing planned for the future. But we're gonna try to stick to the creative side. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, requested that in my last two videos. Uh, if you haven't seen those, feel free to check them out after this video. Um, remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe, and let's get on with the video. Uh, so I want something to enhance my eyes, so we're gonna maybe use like red and orange, maybe yellow too. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. But we're gonna start by priming our eyes. I'm gonna be using the original Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. I'm gonna be just putting that on my lid right there yes. and then just using my finger to blend it all in after I put the primer potion I'm just gonna set the primer I'm just gonna use a um, foundation powder just to prime um, set the primer on my eyes just so that we can get a smooth blend through and through since this look is pretty um, intricate and a lot of requests to do something creative because I mean that's what stands out about me I, I like to do creative and weird stuff and I would uh, like I would go out and wear this kind of stuff I mean I don't know about you but I'm not gonna go grocery shopping with blue and pink on my eyes I don't know about you so today, what I think I'm going to do is a double cut crease. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done one of these since Christmas. I'll pop up a picture here of what I did. Uh, red and green double cut crease. I also tried it with um, blue and red for like a Captain America thing. Did not work out. But we're going to try to do it with about like red and orange, maybe even yellow. Just to see what kind of sunset thing we're gonna happen I don't know yet but we'll see we'll see hopefully it comes out how I have planned <laughs> so we're gonna be using a lot of different eyeshadow palettes and a lot of different brushes for this look so if you're following along just use what you have and try to find something similar you don't have to have what I have I just needed some certain colors from certain palettes so yeah first we're gonna take a pretty warm transition shade and we're gonna blend that high in the crease using a small brush. I'm going to be using this small brush from Morphe. It's the E18. I'm going to be taking Charm from the Jeffree Star. Is this? Yeah, Androgyny. Uh, this shade right here, Charm, and I'm going to be blending it high on the crease. So let's see if we can do that right here. Just forming our basic shape that we want. Our double cut crease to go in. So you see that shape right there? And I'm also taking that shade all the way down into the inner corner. Now for the other eye, I'll be doing the same thing, trying to match them. Uh, that's as even as they're going to get for now. So now we're going to work on actually doing the actual work with the colors. But I'm going to use a more vibrant red. And the red I'm going to be using is from NYX's Sex Bomb eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using the red up top. I'm going to be taking a flat brush. Uh, this is the Morphe M432. Taking that red and drawing a line. Where at the bottom of that orange. Really defining out that shape. Just very lightly. Just like that. I know the outside looks ridiculous, but we'll totally fix that in a second. We just want to get the shape in first. So now for the other eye, this is crucial. We have to get them to match perfectly. A trick for this is I'm holding my mirror down below and I'm pulling, like I'm looking down at it so that my eyelid is stretched out so that I can really see where I'm placing the product. And also it helps me if I'm keeping my mirror straight ahead from me, I can really see how even everything is. Now 
Now I'm going to take that same charm shade from the Jeffree Star palette that we used before and I'm going to just blend out the edges of that uh, red color. And the other eye. The key with this is to just take your time and blend as much as you can so that it's not harsh in any way. We only want the harsh line to be where the red is, right here. Now I'm going to just take a clean blending brush. This is the MAC 224. Very basic and just blend out the edges so that they're really just blended. So that's what we're going for. So now we're going to upgrade to a little bit more powerful colors. I'm going to be taking the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in the bright. It looks like this. Um, so now we're going to be taking the same two brushes and I'm going to be using uh, this red in the corner. It's a little bit darker than the one we were using. It's a little bit more pigmented as well. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing we did before. Except this time I'm not rubbing, I'm packing because I want that red color to be pretty dark. And then I'm going to blend the edges up a little bit with that same brush. So it should be looking like this. So now we're going to take this bright orange color in the Brights palette and we're going to put that where we put the charm color first. It's a little bit more of a pinky red, so I think that'll help bring everything together. And just blend and blend and keep blending that red out into that orange. Don't worry about the outer edge for right now. We will fix it in a second. I know it looks insane, I promise. I really am. My dog. Then I'm going to take that same clean blending brush and I'm just going to dip slightly into that orange shade, dust off the excess, and blend everything together. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to take this orangey yellow shade in the bottom corner and I'm going to put that on the top most part of this look. Just so that there's no harsh edges and that it looks more like an ombre going up to that, from that red to that yellow. Just like that. Once again, clean blending brush and just blending that all out. The cool thing about this look is that you can do it with any two colors, um, even three colors like I'm doing. You can do like from red to pink to purple or, you know, anything like that or red, purple, pink or, you know. So that's one of the cooler things about this look. Right now she's looking really blended and really uneven. But that's okay. We're going to take a little bit of a stronger red color from the Androgyny palette and we're just going to take Fetish. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be a mistake or not, but we're going to take it anyway on a smaller blending brush. You know, I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush. It's a flat, kind of fluffy eyeshadow brush and dip into that shade Fetish. 
top off the excess and then go in and deepen it up just by oh just by pressing oh my gosh hun oh my god okay Okay, and just blend up. Okay, not a bad mistake. It worked out. Once again, with that orange, we're just gonna keep on blending this orange shade right here, buffing that color out so that it's not a harsh line. And then again with that fluffy brush and that yellow shade on the bottom. And blending out that orange with the yellow. And the more you keep blending, the better this will come out. We want it to be really blended and seamless uh, so that there's no like really harsh blending. So just keep on blending. Hold on, blend, blend. Lean blending brush. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other eye. So when they're looking like this, we're going to start doing the actual cut crease. And this is pretty scary. Um, just because we don't want to mess up any of the work we just did. So let's get to it. What you're going to need is a, a concealer brush and a food coverage concealer. I'm using the Wet n Wild one just because it's about the shade that I want the look to be. And then pack on your brush and keep your mirror close. Do the same technique and cut your crease. Once you cut your crease, uh, you're going to need to set it, so get a clean, don't open your eye, uh, get a clean brush and your same setting powder that you use to set your primer, and just go ahead and set that bugger right in so that nothing creases or transfers. Alright, once your concealer is set, I want you to go ahead and do the same thing that you did on this eye on the other eye. So this is why I say don't blink. <sighs> All right, after you've finished uh, cutting the crease, this is what they should look like. Uh, I hope they're even. All right, now we're gonna start on the double cut crease. Now this is one of the hardest parts. You're gonna need a lot of small brushes. Um, so make sure you have all the same brushes that you used before and then some smaller ones because you're going to need them for blending. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that same red color that we used from before, start light. I'm going to take the one from the Basics palette from NYX. And you're going to just want to follow the cut crease, but about this much, leave that much space between the new crease and the, the old cut crease. This is the shape you kind of want to have for your second cut crease. Then I'm just going to fill in a little bit more red below to blend it down this time. Not. Alright, once you have that shape, go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Try to keep them very even and symmetrical. It's very hard to do. Um, if you mess up the first part, but if you get the first part down, you should be fine. Alright, once you have this on, you're going to want to take your orange and your small blending brush and blend that downwards so that you have the same effect but going the opposite way.
And then taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to put yellow on the middle. I'm actually going to use uh, this thing. And I'm just going to drill it into the yellow and put that in the center of my eye. Oh, that works. Okay. Alright, now that that yellow is on, we're going to start by putting that same uh, shade from the um, Jeffree Star palette, palette uh, the fetish shade. And we're going to put that the same way we put on on the top lid. The top lid? The top crease cut? The top cut crease. Then taking that same fluffy brush, taking that orange shade from the basic palette, and just blending the red and the yellow together. So this is what she's looking like right now. She's a little bit sloppy, but um, we're going to just fix the yellow shade in the middle. And there we go. All the colors are laid down. So now what we're going to do is take just a little bit more concealer that we used before. Put it on the back of our hands and take that same concealer brush. Um, if you don't have a skinnier brush, uh, you can just turn yours to the side. I uh, trust this brush so much that that's what I'm going to do. I don't like any other brushes. Make sure your brush is clean so that you're just getting your clean pigment on the brush. Make sure that during this process you do not look up. There we go, our cut crease. Now we're going to want to take a skinny, skinny, skinny brush and we're going to want to set all of that in place and just set all of that in place. Alright, and there's that finished. This is going to the other eye and I didn't do them. I didn't do the other one yet, but it looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one off camera. The same exact way I did the first one. Now that both of the eyes have been um, cut and creased double, um, we're going to clean up this mess that's going on on the outer corner. Uh, but first, we're going to use some winged eyeliner. My camera battery died. But basically, this is how the look came out. Uh, you can leave... You can leave the look just like this if this is how you like it, but I'm going to take it to the next level because that's just who I am. I mean, I thought this was like next level enough, but no, it's not. Not for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some winged eyeliner. Pray for me. Um, I'm going to be using a felt tip because it's safer. It's not as dark, but it's a lot safer. Bring you guys in for this. Uh, hopefully you're in frame when I'm doing this. But basically gonna still look down. And then I'm just gonna do a small wing. Now I'm sorry if you think that this wing ruins the whole look, but I love adding wings to double butt pieces, so sorry. I don't know if I said this, but I'm using the uh, Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. Alright, now I'm going to match the other side. There we go. I think they're a little bit even. So now that we have the eyeliner on, uh, we're going to clean the whole look up. Take that same concealer. Put quite a bit of it on the back of your hand. And we're going to take the same concealer brush. Take quite a bit of product on the back, um, from the back of your hand onto the brush. And just um, like cut underneath, I guess, of the wing eyeliner. Like that.
D. I told you it would come together. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit more upward just to follow that shape and bring my whole face up. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend this out. Yes! Then do the other side. And then once again, just blend out. So now that the eye look is done, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back to show you guys how I do the under eye. Okay guys, so I just finished off my face makeup off camera and now we're gonna finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And we're just going to finish this really quickly. Um, the bottom part isn't too hard. I just try to match it to the top. But what I like to do is take that same flat brush and that red. And place the red as close to the waterline as I possibly can. Okay, after that's done, we're going to take that same brush we've been using for the orange this whole time. And we're going to take a little bit of that orange and blend that guy out. Then we're going to take a bigger brush. I think I'm going to try this one. Maybe this might be a mistake, but we're going to try and get the yellow in there as well. I like how the yellow looks just on the center, so I'm just going to take that same brush and just tap underneath. There we go. So now I'm going to just pop on some mascara. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes really quickly. And I'm going to be using the uh, Lancome Definence something mascara uh, for this one. And then I'm going to do the, just the middle of the bottom eyelashes. Like that. Just the middle. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. So after we do that, uh, the look is done if you want to keep it here. But like I said, I like to go as many miles as I possibly can. And I definitely want to take the extra mile with this one. So I'm going to use some false lashes. I'm going to be using the Cara lashes in the style 805. These are some of my favorites. I have so many of these lashes. Uh, they're really chunky, but you can still see uh, the look behind them, so that's what we're going to use today. So that's what the difference is, like, with eyelashes and without eyelashes. What do you, which side do you guys prefer? Leave it down below. And that's the look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see how I did my face for this video, then leave me a comment below saying that you want to see how I do my normal face routine and how I do my eyebrows, even if you're interested in that. So make sure you leave a comment down below. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can leave them also in the comments below. I love hanging out with you guys, and I'll always try to respond to your comments. So if you guys want to follow me more on a day-to-day -day basis, you can follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. The uh, links for those will be below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I had a good time filming this video. It was really fun. This is more of what I'm used to. And yeah. Um, I'll have some more pictures at the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So... Can you give me a mirror? Do you guys hear the chicken? There's chickens. Oh my gosh, two different dog hairs on my face. How nice. Wow, I look so weird. But it's like funny with me because when my eyes are closed, they look so good. But when I open them... <coughs> the neighbors just started mowing their lawn. How nice. Okay. Ah, I just dropped my brush.